ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker! And today just happens to mark my 300th cider review. So you would expect for me to have uh, something special up my sleeves, even though I haven't really got sleeves on my t-shirt or on my body at the moment. Um, and you'd be wrong. <laughs> I'm saving that for my 1,000 subscriber special, which, judging the way things are going, shouldn't actually be too much longer. Today, however, we have got another supermarket bought cider, and it's another cheap canned cider, because uh, I haven't done one of those for quite a while, and this one has just been staring at me in my local home bargain store, saying, Try me, buy me, even though it's probably going to taste like ass. We are with the Herefordshire Cider Company. It doesn't say which one. Apparently that is their name, the Herefordshire Cider Company. And we have got a can of their HCC Gold. Yeah, a really original name there, wouldn't you say? Um, for refreshing Amber Cider. Comes in at 4.5% four, four ABV. And these are 500ml cans. I don't know if you can get it in any other thing. I'm sure you can probably get it in 2 litre plastic bottles as well, because that does seem to be the sort of uh, cider that would be in that. And, um, yeah, it, well, it just looks really appealing, doesn't it? Not really. But, uh, well, can you guess how much I actually paid for this? If you're thinking a quid, you're wrong. For this can, I paid 79 pence at Home Bargains. So, even if it does taste like absolute ass, um, at least I haven't wasted too much money on it. But hey, you never know, it might be good. Uh, it has a little bit of a spiel on it. HCC Gold is made from quality fermented apple juice, expertly blended by our team in Hereford to achieve this unique example of a refreshing medium dry amber cider. Triple filtered. There you go. It's a triple filtered cider, which means absolutely nothing because once you've filter the cider once, then you don't really need to filter it again. You only really do that with vodkas and stuff like that. Triple filtering it, I don't think, does anything to it at all. Especially when you um, put sugar and sweetener into the can. So that kind of negates anything you were going to try and do with filtering. Contains sulfites for freshness. Yeah, amber, amber cider. That's what it's, that is what it's called. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, once again, there's that label. One of these days, the, uh, the fat women are going to be able to drink this cider, but so far, not yet. So, well, let's uh, get this can open and just see what a triple filtered amber cider tastes like. Right, in I go. Let's go for a whiff test. Not much on the nose, it just smells fairly generic. Slightly dry, off dry, I would say. Uh, a little bit chemically, but, well, I mean, for 79 pence, you can't expect miracles, can you? So, let's get this poured in. And uh, there is also a, their black pear they're doing in their home bargains at the moment, which does seem to be a staple. So I'm probably going to have to try that at some point as well. Oh, yes, there we go. That is the sign of good quality, isn't it? There you go. Um, well, as you can see, well, it is an amber cider. It's not lying there. And, well, fairly heavily carbonated. And, well, that's always a good sign. It's keeping a nice frothy head, which is kind of not typical for a cider. Looks more like a lager, doesn't it? Yeah. Anyway, any more smells on the glass? Hmm. <laughs> wow. It actually smells a strong bow. Because, you know, Strongbow does have that distinct smell to it, and I don't know how they do it, but this has faint whiffs of that. Quite chemically. No apple aromas at all. Smells uh, quite heavy of uh, alcohol, actually, despite it being 4.5%. Uh, oh, well. Doesn't smell that appetising, but is it going to taste appetising? And is it going to be worth your 79 pence? Let's find out, shall we? Cheers, guys. Here's to Herefordshire Cider Company's HCC Gold. Cheers. Mmm. Let's get a second opinion. Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah, that is a chemical ridden mess of a cider. Wow. Oh, that's really hit my gut. Jesus. Um, well, it didn't initially taste bad. It just kind of tasted like a generic, bland, average sort of cider that you, you know, get from the shops. And then the second gulp nearly made me wretch, which uh, has, hasn't really happened much on this show. In fact, it's never happened, not even with uh, Frosty Jacks. But, uh, well, let's go for it, going again. Wow. Ooh. Oh, pardon me. That, that's not to be expected. Uh, that's to be expected, should I say. Um, yeah. Wow. This just tastes of chemicals, sugar, overly sweet. Uh, wow. Really, really thick. Syrupy texture. Uh, pretty much what I kind of expected from this drink. Uh, yeah. This is not a good cider, by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, I, I wouldn't even pay 79 pence for this thing again, because it really does taste that bad, actually. Um, well, I'm actually going to not pretty, probably take any more sips of this. I'm going to go in for a final taste before I find the verdict already. Wow. It's like they've they've taken the taste of Strongbow with all like the chemical stuff and they have just rammed so much sugar into this that it is it is basically like drinking a really sweet Strongbow and it's terrible. Wow. I yeah, I'm not drinking any more of that. That is absolutely abysmal. And um, for like those guys that say, well, you know, what do you expect for 79 pence? Trust me, I have had ciders that have uh, been that sort of price and they've been a million times better than that. So guys, do not waste your money on this cider. It is not worth it. For a final verdict, Herefisher Cider Company's HCC Gold is going to get a 1 out of 10. Not worth it. Do not buy this. Avoid it. If you see it in own bargains and you're even a little bit tempted, don't. Just the other day, I just got um, two ciders from the Blind Pig Cider Company. They were, that was like £1.49. I mean, yeah, I know they're like flavoured like rum and poached pear and stuff like that, but I'm sure they're going to be a million times better than that. Not only that, but a little while ago, they were selling Orchard Pig Ciders for a pound. That's unbelievable value. So when you compare that to buying one of those for 79 pence, no questions asked. I would easily go for the Orchard Pig and the Blind Pig over that. <sighs> Pun me. So, um, that was another episode of the Cider Drink for you guys. I hope you liked it, because this time I certainly didn't. <laughs> um, so next time I will be back with another delicious and very, hopefully, tasty cider soon. But until then, I'm gonna probably keep on belching like a son of a gun, and I'm gonna go and tip that cider down the sink, so... Take care, guys. Until... In, do you know what? Actually, just so you think that I'm not, you know, not bullshitting you and everything, come with me. I'll show you. I'm going to do it. Come with me. That's right, we're going on a little adventure. Because, you know, some people probably think, oh, you know, he's probably bullshitting. He probably, like, uh, you know, he, he probably, like, drinks the ciders after he's filmed. Oh, no, no, I'll show you. I'll show you. Here, watch. There's the sink. Yep. Down it goes. And that, my friends, is what you do with a really, really rubbish cider. Do not waste your money. So until next time, take care. <laughs>